Paint 3D can be used to create custom 3D models. In my case, I'm going to create a simple go-kart over here to show you guys how uh, things can be worked around with. You may not be able to create a very advanced uh, 3D models like an Autodesk Maya, but if you want to get uh, to a work around with for your regular presentations, you can do that quite easily. So for my go-kart, I'm going to take my 3D Doodle tool right here. So I'm going to take my soft S tool and create the, um, the um, go-kart's body. So I'm just going to click and drag over here so you can see that there's the soft part of the body right there for my go-kart right there. So this is my go-kart. I'm going to go into my 3D view so and I'm going to turn off my canvas right here. So I'm just going to go over here and disable the canvas, go into 3D view and I'm going to increase the size over here just like this. So this is going to be my go-kart body for again. It may not be perfect but can be something that can be worked around with as you can see. So now I'm going to uh, make my tire stance over here for the go-kart. So I'm going to go into my 3D shapes. I'm going to grab my cylinder right here and then just click and drag just like this as you can see. So there's my cylinder over here. So this is in, in another orientation. So I'm just going to drag it out. I'm going to just drag it out on this side and place the 3D model right here just like this. All right, there you go. So just drag it up just like this. And there you go. There's the 3D model over there. So I'm going to grab this out and move it to the side just like this to make sure that it is actually there in the go-kart as well. So I'm just going to drag it down a bit so that it is there at the edge. So uh, there's some room for movement. I'm just, just going to drag it a bit to the side just like this as well. So now what I want to do is I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to press Control C and Control V so that it copies. I'm just I'm going to drag it onto the other side over here and put it over here. This is the placeholder for my tires right there. Uh, for the tires, I'm going to grab something like a cylinder just like this. And then I'm going to click and drag. So you can see that there's my tire right there. I'm going to rotate this out just like this. So I'm going to rotate this around over here and then click and drag out onto this section right here. Let me just push it a little forward so that I can see the S over here so that I can work around with it. I, as you can see, there's the S. I'm going to change the color of this so that I can actually see what I'm working with. I'm going to change this to yellow as you can see. So now I can see the center point over here. All right, there you go. So drag it to the side just like this. And there you go. All right. So now I'm just going to drag it out so that it is center aligned. And I'm going to create a copy of this as well. Copy and paste. Drag it on to this section right here. Change the color of this rod as well so I can see the chains. I'm just, just going to press OK. And there you go. I'm going to select both of these. And then I'm going to copy and paste this control C and V, move it to the side just like this. All right, there you go. And from the side, you can see that it is from the center as well. And then for this section, I'm going to copy and paste it out again. I'm going to resize this part as you can see and move it onto this section. So you can see that there's like a bump for the go-kart going on right there. So you can see that the 3D model is kind of ready. I'm going to select the four tires right here. I'm going to edit the color and turn it into gray color right there so that I have my own model. For the car body, I'm going to select a red color and I'm going to select a metallic finish right here. So polished metal. There you go. So it is kind of shiny as you can see right here. For this one, I'm going to choose a glass color, something like this. And this is going to be a dull metal as you can see. So uh, it does look like one. So you can just grab it up and there you go. You can see that that's the go-kart right here. So let's say I want to give this go-kart a bit of a design right here. So I add in a texture a bit. I can do that with the stickers, but I want some 3D um, thing going on over here. So I'm going to go back to the 2D view over here and then I'm going to work with the models as well. So let me just uh, grab a doodle over here, grab a doodle and not this doodle. I want a 3D look over here. So I'm just going to drag this out over here just like this and just randomly select it. So it is not perfect, but something we can work with just like that. So you can see that it is at the center. I'm going to just drag this out. So oh, yeah, that actually gives it a cool little texture right there. So let me just resize it 
and then resize it from over to the other side as well just like that so resize it it gives a little bit of texture to our go-kart right here drag it to um, a bit to the side just like this and then change this color something to like a brownish color over here and then have a polished metal just like that there you go so you can see that a little bit of texture is actually there uh, now what I want to do is I want to add in some stickers maybe uh, something like all right so there are some stickers over here there's the galaxy and I'm gonna draw it out onto this section right here once I'm done with that we are done with everything we can select all of these out maybe I want to change the color of these rods as well into something like black so I'm gonna select black right here so black rod is selected and now I'm going to group all of these together so I'm going to group and there you go the car has been grouped and it is a single model now so you can go to the main model you can rotate this around you can see that I can copy and paste this create a multiple instance of this just like this over here so you can just grab it over here and there you go there's the car over there so three cars over there simple go-kart a custom model that we work with so that is how you can create custom model inside of paint 3d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe